Hello and welcome back, you persistent players. This is Streets of Rage 4, the final level of the Mania Mode run. Jesus, they start you off on Rally at one third? Fuck. Gonna kick some ass, or you'll die. There's lots of dudes that you can fry. Well, That's right, Blaze. Just hit them off the ground. That's fine. Yeah, they, they, they let you do that. And they let you do yeah. that for reasons. I think we actually get a massive upset combo break right here. Um, but that's okay, because um, although the points would be nice for longevity, uh, especially keeping our spirits up, um, the important thing is that we are not out of health at the moment. That is a fucking superb combo out of this world. 4,000 points! 4,000 points! Mind you, Blaze did not successfully fully rally yet, so... Now that the Gregorian chant section is now in full swing, we have a number of choir people who are going to make us cry. Realize that really, the music is not as important as having fun, and it's really hard to have fun in a level like this, where only by reaching a certain threshold do you feel safe that you can actually finish the level as, in, as originally intended. This level took us numerous tries, especially during the opening section, where if you get hit at all, you will lose all the health that you were going to rally, and that will probably prompt a reset. Having a right. massive combo break also will make you cry in your pants area and make you Jeez, unable to strike. proceed. I'm glad that Michael is actually using his goddamn star moves. <laughs> oh, I missed. So you can't. You no, she was dead. She she was dead, but I actually expended health in order to try doing that, and I failed. Salad. Who who is taking a motorcycle to an island? Well, you live in Rhode Island, so you might not know <laughs> this, but a majority of people that live in New York, if they ever want to go to New Jersey, just ferry their vehicles along with them. Yeah, I mean that's true. And plus, it makes it more convenient when it takes a half hour to get from the front gate to the front door. Oh, I'm sorry, the the moat, because it's a castle. And honestly, I am glad I do not live near a moat. And that's probably why they chose the they, they chose this uh, this musical motif because honestly, this is the first time in any Streets of Rage games where they actually had voices as part of the instrumentation. Also, um, as a, as a note of strategy, uh, control your progress from left to right as you approach the front gate of Y Island because that will control how many enemies you have to fight in any given time. Clear the screen and then proceed right. Is the way to go. Okay, now pick up the items. Pick up the weapon. Blaze. You see, that's not how that gate's supposed to open. That gate is supposed to open by flinging, flinging either forwards or backwards. But see, it is because there is a sadistic bitch waiting for us on the top floor that she's permitting us access so that she could personally murder us once and for all. A personal murder, murder is the most satisfying type of murder. All right, the bro the uh, the bronzes are down. So now we just got to deal with the sparrows. Captain, Captain Sparrow. Yeah, <laughs> uh, a sure thing, Jack. <laughs> uh, I didn't even notice that there were rats crawling across the floor. Cause it's a castle. Well, it's a castle. They're supposed to be here. I mean, I hope something can live here, because everything around us is getting wasted. Ow! That was the kick, that was like Captain Falcon's knee of justice. Holy shit. As powerful as the knee of justice honestly is, it's never its never a move that I feel comfortable using, because it has a rather significant amount of landing lag. It's got landing lag and it's a little situational. It's not almost all that situational. If you if your enemy if your opponent is falling down on you or charging at you, the knee of justice is a great goddamn tool. It's just that you know I'm not skilled enough with Captain Falcon to really uh, uh, use it uh, correctly. I have that problem with a lot of speed characters. Honestly, it's why I don't like playing with Sonic or Greninja. So Sonic is just he, he is he is like unplayable to me. He's he is too fast. Here's the thing, yeah, although I most certainly agree that Sonic is too fast uh, to be enjoyably pl uh, playable, I recently scored a relatively high 
uh, going through uh, campaign mode with him. Although I had a bitch of a time taking down Metal Sonic. Ugh. Goddamn back row help. This, this corridor will also prompt a lot of resets because the enemies are really fast. They they use um, they use front line and back line defensive organization in order to stop you even before you get to the Bobo mini boss fight right here. And meanwhile, all right. So what I see Michael is trying to do he it was, he's, he's trying to throw him in into the wall and then juggle him with the mace swing, but you can't do that because your mace swing has got uh, too many uh, uh, too many. Uh, frames on startup in order to actually do a successful juggle. He had to be, you would have to actually start the throw, execute the throw, and then go into uh, your uh, normal punch combo. Yes, I agree that you should use the timings of just ending an attack in order to get your combos off. That is probably the more correct way of doing it. That is, that is when you are unequipped. Yeah, shadow, shadow mini boss encounter. All hail shadows, they are here to stab. See, they have shurikens. Those are stabbing weapons. Stab from a distance. Because the shadow will trip. Have you ever wanted to distance. stab someone, but they're but they're very far across the room? Trust in our products. Yeah, these guys honestly are not that bad. Uh, Z dodge for the win and second wave. Ah, now there's five of them, all at the and same so time. So it was three, four, then five. Are they gonna do a six wave? No, no, no. This is because then, because then we're gonna go right and then we have to take out Fat Boys. Adam loves Fat Boys, especially when there's a wrecking ball involved. Because honestly, it's like meeting an unstoppable force with an immovable object. Seriously, you should have charged up your controller before this session, dude. Come on. That was us also contemplating whether it would be wise to proceed, and we decided, okay, like, okay, if it, the the ordinary the ordinary lose con is if any player, you know, game overs before we get to the boss, yeah, you should totally do a reset. As for this part, however, this is a massive roll of the dice. Let the Wrecking Ball do a lot of the work, because there's so many of them, they're moving so erratically, they're not paying attention to the Wrecking Ball, they're probably going to get hit by it, especially because they're the ones that are setting it into motion. Now, if you, uh, does, does using your special immediately put you in rally mode? Using your special does, does require you to rally back health, yes. Okay. Why well, should use it sparingly, and only in certain situations. Okay, now Adam is the one who's looking a little shaky because he still needs quite a bit more points in order to get a one-up, which means that he should get the health. But this place, because of the calm before the storm, will give you a little time to think and gather your balls together. Because for God's sake, we got a fucking good time ahead. Oh, you could try, Adam. You could try. Okay, both players got full health. I'm a little uncomfortable that I'm the one who has... Uh, more lives now. Why. All right, now we get to hear I like the... those boots. Honestly, they're a bit high, but otherwise they look like they would be cozy. Well, I mean, you you, you can tell that this this is definitely a pampered brat, as as from the pink panties right there. Um, but no, because it's it's still a boss. Uh, her AI is not that is not any more intelligent than the last time. But because we got the that was almost a really nice fucking uh, volley that you guys had. All right, now during this particular iteration of the Y-Twins boss theme, you will note that there are arpeggios that sound like uh, what Daddy would have been playing while he was trying to kill people with a Tommy gun. And I like that. That's probably why Yuzo Hoshiro, although he didn't write a lot of the music for this game, he does get credit for some of it, especially because I'm, they, they definitely intended to use his music as the basis for this particular track. And I think they did a great job for Lightning the music track. Dash. It's exciting, it's fast tempo, and uh, it will keep you interested, especially when she's trying to grab you. So, is Blazing Solar Jump? Uh, I think she's saying, Excellent! All right, Adam has a chance at getting more health now because he's within 2,000 points. However, because we took out all the boss's health, her minions had immediately died of being cowards. 
All right, grab your shurikens, guys. See, they give you weapons. You should use them. Use every advantage you can take. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I was pretty sure once we got here, like, we, we got this. Like, because this was, of the many attempts we took at this level, this is the one and only attempt where we actually made it to the Mizwai boss fight. So, this is just us using our momentum and lots of practice on this particular boss. And using, in order to transfer skills that are still very, very much relevant. Alright, so, uh, for Mania Mode, does, does the rule still hold that you want to take down Mr. Y first? Or, um, it's. I mean, it, it it depends. I mean, you normally want to take out. You want to take out Mr. Y's health so that he's the one who who you know puts down his guns basically, so that he will only be using the robot in order to hit you. Well, meanwhile, Miss Y's only long distance attack is a very well telegraphed uh, sword stab attack. We're over here, guys. All right, now for the actual final boss theme. <laughs> Gigantamax Scorpopod. Scorpiopod. Yeah, this is a pretty good music track right here. It's, a, it's all come to this. They have one last trick for you. It's not a middle finger. It's actually two giant fingers that are trying to squish you. Well, it's two legs. I mean, you see the back legs back there, so... No, oh, I, I saw that. I, I saw you apply red buff. You are not grabbing me, little Missy. But now I am out of star move, so now the next time I see her do that, I gotta probably get some distance first in order to jump kick repel. Okay, maybe, all right, so I said that the boss AI might be just about the same. It might be a little different for the robot, or maybe that's just my mind playing tricks on me because it's the difficulty max out and my adrenaline is through the roof. Because um, I definitely don't want to retry this level again. <laughs> this level is so hard, it will make you feel like a shithead every time you fail at it. And Blaze no longer has enough health to actually do a special and, and attempt and attempt to rally. Oh, back, oh, so. oh, oh, oh. Uh, and I got taken out. See, I, it's, I got distracted, and they will do that quite a bit. Um, all right, so uh, the, no, good. Right, hit her. So yes, all right. You down. locked her up. Locked her up. Keep her locked up. She can't go in the robot till she gets up. Ah, oh, she Damn got it. away. Okay. Now she's just gonna stare at you with faint interest while her robot does the work for her. I'm pretty sure she's not hitting any buttons. No, she's hitting buttons. Uh, it's just that we can't see her fingers move on her uh, left hand. Hey, Michael, um, we can actually die right now. So, um, oh boy. Because neither of us are anywhere near the threshold to get more points, but... Come on. One more hit. Got her. Woohoo! Yeah! Stage 12, clear. Fall. Now it's time for the Super Mega Boss Yggdrasil. Now it's time for the Super Fun Time ending, which is the exact same ending every time because you can't change the ending in this game. Well, we didn't see the ending last time. Well, that okay. So we, you're right. We did not see the ending. Actually, the only thing that we saw was the first graphic for this uh, credit sequence of four and a half minutes in length. But yes, we will see an epilogue as told through illustrations that tell us how our heroes have finally put this adventure to rest. The ruins of the robot lay strewn in pieces behind us. We are victorious, my friends. There's a tree there. My knuckles are sore. My guitar is out of tune. The tree is a reference to the cut of Yggdrasil boss. And it is green with the color of hope, while Blaze's ass is red with the color of love. I thought blue was the color of hope. At least blue is the color of hope in DC. <laughs> Have a nice trip. See you next fall. Look at the muscles on that sexy bastard. <laughs> He's got Gohan's hair flick going on. Yeah. No sunglasses, though. Oh yeah, and we finally get to see the uh, track list and see who finally gets credit. I see Yuzo Koshiro did actually do the very first track of the game, which is nice. But a lot of the, a lot of these guys, uh, they came in because 
Uh, it's a big, it's a big development company, Dotemu, and uh, they got some people who really love this game, and they wanted to bring back what made it awesome. And a lot of that was the music. Twenty-five years ago. Akira. Oh God damn it! An Akira reference. Now, see, look, Mrs. Y. That that is the actual name of the track on the OST. Although I'm pretty sure, I mean, she is considered a queen, but that would be like calling Lord Farquaad a king because he because Lord Farquaad is not married either. Uh, the enemies. Blaze actually has a performer career. Blaze. It seems that the it seems that they needed two voice actors for some of the characters. One was doing the actual voices of like when you select them in the menu, and the other was like when they're getting like hit and stuff. In, in, during the no, game. No, I mean, this, this still shot that we have here, that's, you know, that's uh, sexualizing her with the sparkles in the background, well, that usually implies an entertainment career. Well, I mean, se sex has been a payoff in this game since Streets of Rage 3. That's why I zoomed in on Blaze's cleavage at the end of that game. I uh, maybe she's just a background dancer for, Ch for Cherry's band, then. I want to rock! Yep, and everybody goes on to their own endings. Blaze gets a tan. Uh, Cherry Hunter resumes her musical career by stepping up to the stage. That is now clear and by playing punk DJs. rock for all the kitties. Adam is awarded the Wood Oak Police Department Medal of Merit and a chance at getting that sweet ass. Yes. Our heroes are moving on to bigger and better things. The Y Syndicate has been disbanded once and forevermore. And that is until they realize that Streets of Rage 5 might actually be a good idea. So I would buy it. I'd buy Streets of Rage 5. I feel like I already Honestly, have. Honestly, I'm glad that we got a Streets of Rage revival. I am. The thing that I want to see next is a Gauntlet revival. Well, uh, the uh, <laughs> Gauntlet ripoff. <laughs> well, it's in. You said gauntlet ripoff. I, I mean, there is like a boss. There, there is a boss rush mode. There, that's in the next. No, no, part. no, no, not, not gauntlet as in boss rush. I mean, gauntlet the video game series. Yeah, no, I, no, I read you. But um, I mean, they, they, they could do that. They could make like a like rand like they could like randomize the map. You, you beat every enemy on the map. You find the way out because it doesn't just go in one direction. It actually gives you the chance to like go back and explore and stuff. I think I think that would be pretty cool. And that would be a throwback to stage six from Streets of Rage 3. Our heroes, once again, one big happy family after watching the sunrise after an ass kicking fun night. Where's Skate? Skate is not here. He is a pixelated little boy trapped in cryogenic stasis. Oh. And thank it's kinda odd that Skate and Max don't show up here. And thank you for making Streets of Rage 4 and what has been an awesome time for players who just so happen to be doing the classic games and recording them while a massive breakthrough sequel was coming out. The Mania Mode run is now complete, but that's not all. We got even more fun times for you next time.